Welcome back everyone, Chu here bringing you a, another review on My Hero Academia. It is the season finale of season 6. This episode was to me great, I absolutely loved it. Uh, I didn't think that this episode was going to have so much information in it, but also I gotta say I appreciate the fact that we also get to see a, some of these moments that I think are going to help uh, moving forward to the next season for a lot of characters i i truly enjoyed like the seriousness in this one the introduction of star the fact that we also get to have a funny moment with class just all seeing them all together just all might smiling again just overall all these little things i think were fantastic and honestly i really enjoyed but guys without further ado let's get into this episode and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because it makes it helpful. Anyway, so we start off with seeing All Might. And this to me was my favorite part of the episode. I will say, I didn't think that this would be such a pivotal, important moment and something that I would really enjoy. But we get to see All Might having, I guess you could say, a lot of feelings right now. He sees his statue, there's still the sign of, I am not here. We've seen this for in the openings, we've seen this for quite some time. But we see him being unexpectedly visited by Stain. Now, Stain has been in these last few episodes, he has been in the shadows, and he has been observing. I love that he comes out to talk to All Might. Obviously, he knows this is All Might. However, he has a hard time accepting that All Might has become not necessarily losing his strength, but he has lost his conviction. All Might was a symbol that was much more than just the muscles. He represented so much. And I've said this many times before, and if I haven't recently, I probably will remind you guys. To me, Stain is the best villain in this series. He is still my favorite I love his reasons for things. He definitely is a respectable character in my opinion. And we see what he did when he got out of Tartarus. We see that he actually explains his story. He gives uh, Toshinori or All Might, however you want to call him, this information that he was able to gather in uh, Tartarus. We see that uh, he actually got it. And he's like, I don't want a weapon, I just want info. He was not part of this whole operation that all for one is given, you know, basically all these other people. It gives this information to, to All Might. I love how he kind of like snaps him into like this like state where he's like, look, dude, you got to get serious. You there's still so much more to do. And I want you to be the one to defeat me. I've killed 40 heroes. And I'm like, dang, that's a pretty high count. It's a pretty high count and who knows if he's killed any recently you know we haven't seen a lot of the ton of heroes so could he have killed some of them i also love that the girl that we see cleaning the statue was a was the last person that was saved by all my back in season three god that was so long ago at this point but just seeing that also helped him out meanwhile we also get to see the boys taking Deku and getting him into the shower that man probably smell like hot ass and cheese who knows but he got him in there they gave him a bath they were all there having this moment and that was one of the things too that is in this episode was really great we get to see the whole class starting to be more unified a whole lot more and smiles all around everyone's gone through their trials and tribulations we see Todoroki kind of opening up Bakugo respecting Deku more Deku being accepted by his 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 friends here just absolutely love that you know uh, Uraraka is asleep she's knocked out I mean most of the like time she was just out there in the rain and I love it I love it too Jiro you know kind of opening out of her shell I love how she's able to kind of like be more confident in herself grabbing Kaminari Bakugo um momo and you know all of them just grabbing them and just you know wanting to have that unity i love it i absolutely love 
that they were all, you know, being more of a classroom and, and honestly a family. But we also get to see All Might arriving. Deku apologizes finally, which was something that was been bothering him for quite some time. And, you know, we see All Might kind of like re rejuvenated in the sense that he is now wanting to be more useful. He wants to stop moping around and just feeling like dead weight. Which is something that I understand that he's felt, but now, like, there aren't many heroes, and he's still a hero. He may not be the muscles that he was, but he's still got the brains and the usefulness, and therefore he says he's down to help. He gets the information, gives it to the police station, and we see that, in reality, the time that they have is not much. A month has already passed, and they only have three more days until the attack that is planned from all for one and shigaraki so this is crazy stuff because this just means that they're gonna have to recruit help immediately and we see that a request was sent from endeavor hogs but mostly all might and the nations around the world are listening and they're having a hard time wanting to refuse uh, this request and we see that the u.s had a jump on it we get to see that one of the heroes uh, is already on her way and the number one hero for that fact when we see the introduction of a new hero that's going to be coming in she's gonna have a major part in, in season seven but we're gonna be having star and stripes arriving she is already on the way she resembles a lot like prime like back in the golden age all might so it's gonna be great to have this character come in and help out tremendous awesome like, awesome that they're bringing her in and just having more heroes arriving as well but overall i gotta say i absolutely love this episode love the way this is ending for the season and just overall all the moments we had for the season this is just one of the better seasons that we've had and it's just touching the iceberg there's just so much more that we're going to be getting guys but overall thank you so much also for keeping up with me with 25 episodes that's half a year guys essentially with all you know all this stuff with my hero and season seven is already confirmed so if you guys didn't already know season seven is already confirmed and it's on its way we'll probably be having it probably like we had last time in october so guys make sure to keep up with that i will keep you guys in the loop but as always though guys make sure to stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i will catch you all later